Hey everybody, so today we're going to be making a soothing body wash or body gel. I know I've made a lot of body washes here on my channel, but I've never made a gel one and I've gotten requests too, so here we are. So to begin, we're going to be working on the water phase. We're going to be making a total of 240 grams of body wash or body gel. And I'm going to be starting with this 500 milliliter glass beaker. So like I said, we're working on our water phase first. So I began by adding in 43.1 grams of distilled water, followed by 48 grams of aloe vera liquid, 36 grams of chamomile hydrosol or chamomile, I know I pronounce it wrong, 12 grams of vegetable glycerin, and 2.4 grams of allantoin. So here lies my issue. The formulating guidelines says not to heat allantoin past 122 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's the only way I can get it to dissolve is to heat it up. And I've heated it up in many lotions and it's always been fine. So let me know if you have any, you know, insight on this. Have you been able to get allantoin to dissolve without heating it? Because I sure haven't. Let me know in the comments below. So I created a water bath, covered it with aluminum foil, and then heated it up until it dissolved. So while the water phase is heating, we're going to work on our surfactant phase. So again, grab your scale, and I'm using a 250 milliliter glass beaker here. I started with 24 grams of cocoa glucoside, and this also works as an emulsifier if you're wondering. And I added in 48 grams of foaming apple. This is an anionic surfactant. And then I added in 24 grams of sweet almond oil. So I went ahead and mixed everything together. And then I covered up the beaker and it rode on top. It's the surfactant phase for my body gel. And then I just set it to the side until I need it later. So now it's time to go back to our water phase. So our beaker is still hot from heating it up. So take your scale and place a little barrier on top because the heat from the beaker will mess up the weight of the scale. And it's time for our gelling ingredients. Sepamax Zen. I added in 4.8 grams of it and all you want to do is just put the powder on top of your water formulation. Don't mix it in. Just cover it up with some foil or something and right on top of what your formulation is and just let it chill there for eight hours. I let mine sit overnight and after overnight this is how it will look. It will look all chunky and awful and you'll feel like you failed but don't worry. Just mix it up as much as you can. All our ingredients are in here so it's super thick right now. Once we add the rest of the ingredients it'll be okay. So take your surfactant phase and mix it up real quick just to make sure everything's well combined before you add it into your water phase. And just add in a little bit at a time and incorporate the surfactant phase into your water phase as much as you possibly can. And then add a little bit more of your surfactant phase and keep doing this until your entire surfactant phase has been incorporated into your water phase. So you'll notice it's still a little chunky and everything's not completely hydrated yet. So we're going to have to let it sit again for a couple hours. I let mine sit overnight, but before I let it sit overnight, I want to add in all the cool down ingredients first. So place your beaker back on your scale and I'm going to start with the cucumber extract. I added in 4.8 grams of cucumber extract and then I mix that in. And now it's time for the preservative. I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus and I added in 1.2 grams of the Liquid Dermal Plus and then I mixed that in. And then lastly, I decided to use some eucalyptus essential oil because I hate the scent of the chamomile hydrosol and this is like a really like powerful essential oil so I think it'll do a good job of covering up that scent. And also I just love the scent of eucalyptus oil. So I added in 0.72 grams of that, mix that in, and once you're finished with all the cool down ingredients, cover up your formulation right on top of your formulation what it is and let it sit overnight. So after overnight, you'll notice everything is nice and gelled and completely hydrated. And now it's time to package our soothing body gel. So I'm using this eight ounce plastic bottle. I'll link down below to where I purchased mine and I'll find some similar ones over on Amazon. So just pour all of your body gel into your bottle, place on your cap and you're done. And of course I made a label that says soothing body gel to put on my body wash. If you wanna know how to make your own custom labels, I'll link down below to a video that shows you guys how to do that into a video that shows you guys how to waterproof them. So obviously this body wash has a nice gelled texture to it and it's actually a really thick texture as well. And I personally like my body washes to be thicker. If you want this to be thinner, then just use 1% Sepamax Zen instead. And I wanted to give you guys a lather test too to show you how much this lathers. So obviously you just want to put a little bit onto a loofah 
and then massage it in and look at all these bubbles it definitely has so much lather to it and this is a really moisturizing body wash as well and of course it's soothing so it's going to be great for those of you with sensitive skin as well because of the chamomile hydrosol and the allantoin the cucumber extract and the aloe vera liquid so now that we're all done with this recipe i want to show you guys the formulation so as you can tell there's four parts to this formulation water phase sepamax in phase surfactant phase and the cool down phase so if you guys don't know how to transfer a formulation from percents to a weighed out recipe I'll link down below to a video that shows you guys exactly how to do that so you guys can screenshot this formulation and just refer back to it whenever you want or I actually have a blog that goes right along with all my recipe videos I do here on YouTube and I actually have PDF files that you can download and then print out and you can make your own little like folder of Terry Lee recipes if you want I'll link my patreon down below if you guys want to go check it out so now that we reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shoutouts. So first is Essence of Nature over on Etsy, at Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Trina's Jewelry Box over on Etsy, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos. HSB Organics at hsborganics.com. I am Beautia at iambeautia.com. Yellow Hippie Store over on Etsy. Sugared underscore Pineapple over on Instagram. KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy. Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com. And Satara here on YouTube if you want some cosmetic recipe videos. So all my lovely patrons will be linked down in my description box below. Also, if you didn't know, I do sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. My Etsy shop will be linked down in the description box and in the corner so it's easy for you guys to find. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this soothing body gel at recipe. Let me know if you have any suggestions for any future recipes. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered I'm a